sports. It's in the game. When your opponent doesn't offer you much, you really need to go after him with a balanced attack. Head, body, movement, combos. No one thing will be the throw a lot at him. That three-punch combo comes behind a hard uppercut to the body. Roy's going to be in real trouble if he keeps taking shots like that. He's taken the other guy out of his game plan with effective countering. Roy Jones didn't see that one coming, and the ones you don't see always hurt the most. I like his footwork out there tonight. Speed guys need that extra condition so they can keep that up. Hopkins has learned through the years that the only man he can trust is himself. That's why he's managed most of his career on his own. He just doesn't like anybody dipping into his pockets. Jones Jr. is taking two shots from his opponent. Hopkins comes with a crushing shot to his opponent's head. You know, it's a shame that a fighter with the skills of Hopkins really hasn't gotten as much exposure as he should throughout his career. I mean, how many people out there in the mainstream really know much about the man behind the executioner's mask? Hopkins nailed his opponent with a vicious counter hook. The rough and tumble Hopkins comes from a long line of gravel and guts Philly fighters. Roy Jones Jr. is tagged with a hard hook. Stiff jab lands. Bernard found an early opening and unleashed a big combo. He's showing a good chin as he isn't wavering or wobbling at all. Roy Jones Jr. is putting some mustard behind those two punches. Without question, I'd say that was a better round for Hopkins. Right Missing a lot of shots, having all your shots blocked or clinching when you don't need to, it wears out any fighter. I don't care who they are. Wasting energy like that can have a severe impact on your skills in the ring. Hopefully his corner will be able to refresh him and let him know what he's doing wrong. Hopkins comes forward and lands a solid combo. This boxer needs to recoup his energy, or he's going to find himself in a whole lot of trouble. Jabs with accuracy and speed. Boom! That counter hit him so hard it almost shattered him. He's looking like a strong wind may be able to tip him over right now. You can see that he's struggling. Oh, and he goes down hard from that tremendous haymaker. Try to get his legs back underneath him. He may have to try to hang on till the end of this round. What a shot! He's pounded hard by a haymaker. Wow, he's off balance now. That counter haymaker surprised him. Hard 
glow reverberates throughout his frame. He just needs to stay relaxed. He's got his opponent right where he wants him. And if he can land some good, clean punches, he's going to put his opponent on the floor. Bernard Hopkins looking to hurt his opponent with that punch. Two exploding punches. And with that, we're at the midpoint of tonight's fight. This fight is turning out to be not much of... The executioner's jab lands flush in his opponent's face. Jones Jr. had been here before. If you throw endless punches and you don't keep those hands up to protect yourself, you can forget about going the distance. His right hand commitment to the body punching could really slow down his opponent. Roy Jones in a volatile state. Any minute now can determine the outcome of this fight. A big power punch. He goes to the floor yet again after a brutal uppercut. Jones Jr. is going to have to find a way to keep it together for the rest of this round. If he's not careful, he'll be eating counters all day. He really went for that feint and then paid the price as he left himself wide open for that tremendous punch that followed. Powerful, vicious body shot. Nice jab followed by a solid right cross. Hopkins showing his ability for effective counter punching. I'm not sure, but he just may be out on his feet. He doesn't look like he knows where he is right now, and he's fighting. He's getting beat up. He goes down again. 